Boom, Ben Parker of Cardinal Sports Reports. I'll come here with Stanford offensive tackle Connor McLaughlin. There we go. Uh, so talk about, first of all, just kind of NC State in general. What do you know about them, generally speaking? Right. Uh, generally, they've got some good big guys at defensive end, you know, some big four eyes, which is a little different than what we've seen, but it'll be a good challenge. Um, you know, I'm excited to block it. It'll be a little different than probably what we've seen from most of the season, but it's new, it's exciting, it's going to be a cool stadium. I'm excited to see those guys. All right. Uh, secondly, just for you personally, you've been kind of in and out of the lineup a little bit. Just kind of what's that been like kind of week to week kind of adjusting to your role? Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, obviously just keeping my head up, doing what I can for the guys, leading whether it be from the front or the back. But, you know, just trying to stay steady and calm and consistent. Yeah, and kind of what areas of your game have you most been working on for this season? Yeah, biggest thing I think was uh, I had to change my stance up a little bit before the season, but uh, really working on the gallop technique and deuces, um, really being thicker in the run game and working on my second level blocking. Yeah, um, and, and also just for, as well as, as a whole for the offensive line unit, it's been, you guys have kind of moved different pieces in and out. Just what's kind of been the key to you guys, your guys' ability to stay as, as kind of consistent as you have been able to amid the different rotations that's coming in and out? Yeah. Um, you know, it's tough when you got guys rotating in and out, but, you know, we're a very cohesive group and we all trust each other. So it doesn't matter who's out there. And I think we've been able to handle that pretty well. well what's been the kind of key point of emphasis from Coach, from, from both Netter and Tal Maival uh, for the unit so far? Yeah, uh, we just got to dominate in the run game. That's going to be a big thing. I mean, people say that every game because when you get the ball running well, then it opens up a lot of different things in the game. But, uh, you know, just being dominant on the ground and then uh, just blocking up, staying on guys, straining blocks, typical stuff. Yeah, you know, also too, just uh, as well kind of talk about, you know, what, what, is it, what has it been like facing new opponents that you've never seen before? You've been here, you're a fifth-year guy, I think now at Stanford. Just what's it been like seeing new teams and schools and that you've never – you probably didn't think you would ever see yeah yeah i'm an east coast guy so it's exciting um you know being in the acc is pretty cool i got a lot of family in the florida state so it's been exciting to see some new places some new stadiums and then uh got a lot of, got a lot of friends at other colleges back home so it's been cool to kind of go there and see them again yeah i mean then kind of talk a little bit where you're where you're at academically what are you studying now kind of how's that side going for you right so i finished my main undergrad degree um sts science technology and society and I've been really interested in psychology. I just didn't have a chance to major in it. So I'm finishing up a minor in it. I'm in a uh, intro to neuroscience class and an intro to developmental psychology. Um, they've been great. I really liked them. And uh, the teachers have been really good too. The professors have been really thorough and explained it in a way that has been really cool. So I've had some more freedom, I'd say, this quarter, and I've really appreciated that. Yeah, and what kind of piques your interest in psychology? Uh, I think just kind of knowing how people think. Um, you know, without sounding too over controlling, but uh, I, th I think it's really interesting how the brain works. That neuroscience class I'm in is, is awesome. Um, you know, they, they do a good job explaining it from a, a global perspective and like a zoomed out level, but there's still a lot of really cool things in that class. It seems, I could be wrong on this, but it seems that you guys have committed less penalties as a unit since the Syracuse game. It feels like that at least. Do you know if that's true? And if so, what's kind of gone into that, do you think? Uh, I couldn't give you an exact number, but, you know, being clean as an offensive lineman is very important. you got to know when to let go so you don't get a hold. Um, you got to know when to not go downfield on a pass play, just simple things like that, trying to stay on the same snap count and cadence and really emphasizing that throughout the week. Um, doing that, you know, you just want to stay even consistent, like I said earlier, and just not, not get too uptight when you do get a penalty and be able to just flush it. Yeah, and kind of what what is the key to because John Madden, at least in the video game, it might have been Madden two thousand, but he said a hold it happens on every play. You just it just you know it happens every play. He said so. What what is kind of the key to learning how to kind of control the defensive line without getting caught for a hold? What's kind of the key to that? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They want to say that you want to be fixed on one surface of the person's body. So you know, flat on the chest is obviously best, and you don't want to be caught on the sides or caught on the back. Um, and then you also got to know when to let go. If the person's trying to retract from you and run away, you can't obviously hold on to them. And then uh, you got to be smart too. Like some guys are some pretty good actors, so you got to be smart when to let go and kind of have an idea in the back of your head of where the quarterback is. How often does it happen where you where you know that you should have gotten a flag, but you didn't? Like how often does that happen? Not to like put you on the spot there, but have you had moments where you're like, oh, like I'm I'm, I'm lucky I didn't get caught? Do you like do you know? when you're doing something that crosses the line or, or yeah, just talk about that a little bit. 
Yeah, um, you know, maybe a little bit. Uh, everyone gets a little lucky sometimes, but I think for the most part, you just gotta know, like, take it, don't get too in your head about it, and then be like, okay, this is a good idea for the next play, like, maybe run my feet a little more, so. You know, it probably happens every once in a while. Final question for you, just 9 a.m. kickoff, just kind of what do you guys, do? talk about what you're doing to kind of prepare for an early morning kickoff adjustment, yeah. Yeah, um, we've really made an emphasis to go to bed before 9 p.m. this week, which uh, has been an adjustment and challenging, but uh, I've, I think I'm like one for two on it so far. Um, so I think it won't be that bad, to be honest. Early game, take some caffeine in the morning, feel good. But yeah, you know, it really starts the week going into it, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when you really get used to it. So that's really where they say you win the game anyway, is that Tuesday, Wednesday practice. So, yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for taking the time, Connor, and best of luck on Saturday against the Wolfpack. All right. Thank you.